All right, so today we're doing uh, basically just a simple shrimp scampi pasta. Um, ingredients I have here, I have some, some good olive oil, uh, some pasta that's already been cooked uh, al dente. Um, this is some of the pasta water from, from cooking the pasta that I saved. It's, it's actually very good for building uh, traditional Italian sauces. Um, basically the, the flour and the starch from cooking the pasta gets into the water as well as, well as uh, the salt from the, from the uh, pasta water um, and it helps build the sauce, your final sauce. Um, some shrimp, these are small 7190 count. Um, 7190 is the number in a pound uh, of, for, for shrimp. I find for a pasta dish, smaller shrimp are actually better uh, as opposed to some of the larger ones. Um, also, to then build the sauce, uh, some fresh chopped garlic, uh, a little bit of chili flake if you like just a hint of spice in there, it's optional, some fresh diced tomato, uh, some chives, fresh chives, lemon juice, fresh squeezed, um, and some butter. Uh, so basically we're going to, since everything is uh, already prepped here, ready to go, uh, if you're entertaining at home, it's important to kind of organize your prep. It's called mise en place. Uh, that way everything is done ahead of time and the actual dish can only takes about two minutes to put together. We're going to add a good drizzle of olive oil. Okay, we're going to let that heat up. It's always important to let your pan heat up first and your oil that you're using heat up first before you actually start sauteing anything. All right, now that the pan's hot, we're gonna start with a little bit of garlic. Actually a good healthy tablespoon or so. Okay, we wanna let that cook first. Almost to a, uh, a golden brown. Raw garlic is very strong and pungent. Uh, so if you don't cook it enough, if you don't sweat it enough, um, you're gonna end up with a very strong garlic taste. If you let it cook out, roast it a little bit, you're going to end up with a much sweeter, uh, better tasting garlic flavor. As you can see, the garlic is starting to brown around the edges, which is nice. Turn the heat down just a touch. We're going to add, again, a, just a pinch of chili flakes for some spice. Okay, now that the garlic is nice and, nice and golden brown, we'll add our shrimp. These are toss around. Okay, just a pinch of salt and pepper again. Season, always important to season your food, especially as you go. And you can start to see the shrimp starting to turn color. A little pink, but these are still very opaque, which means they're definitely not cooked yet. Okay, now we start to build our sauce. So we'll add a good splash of lemon juice in here. We're going to add some of the pasta water. And if you're cooking your pasta fresh as you go, just take a ladle and ladle and put it right in your saucepan. Okay, so you want just enough sauce in your pan. You're gonna add a lot of butter to this, uh, but if you have too much liquid in there, your sauce won't be thick enough and it won't actually coat the pasta. And okay, so the tricky part here, we'll turn the heat down to very low. To stop it, stop it from simmering. We're going to add a good few chunks of butter in here. Shrimp scampi is really all about the butter and lemon flavor and garlic flavor. And now add your butter and you really want to swirl your pan. Which is basically going to emulsify the butter into the sauce and make it creamy. And turn the heat off now. Okay. We'll give the sauce a little bit of taste. Reheat the pasta just a little bit. 
just briefly because it's already cooked. Okay, drain it well. Now we're gonna toss in some fresh tomato, some fresh chives. Okay. Give it a good stir. Again, just a little toss. And this is off the heat. This is just tossing it in. If, you, if you're simmering right now, you're gonna break your sauce. You'll end up with a greasy, greasy sauce from the butter breaking. Okay, now we're gonna plate it up. Okay, so we've got our shrimp scampi all cooked here. We're gonna take a good bit of pasta. Okay, build it in there. Add some shrimp. Very nice, fresh. If you could smell it right now, you'd smell garlic, butter, and lemon, and that's really what shrimp scampi is all about.